I don't know how I do it. I don't know how these women find me, but at least once a year, I end up dating a reformed whore. A reformed whore is a woman who has screwed more people than the United States government. That's going to take a while to sink in. But 10 minutes before she meets you, she decides that she wants to change and be a good girl now and not have sex again until marriage. Boo. Now, the worst part about dating a reformed whore isn't the fact that you're getting no tail. The worst part is you end up out in public with people who she has slept with. So you're at a bar or a club and you're standing there with her and a bunch of her friends and then her and a couple girlfriends go to the bathroom and leave you standing there with three guys she's been sharing fluids with. That's a great porn name, by the way, sharing fluids. And one of the guys goes, hey, Dwayne, your girl Beth, she sucks a mean one, doesn't she? And you're not going to be like, golly, gee willikers, Dave, I don't know. We don't have sex. You're not going to look like a tool bucket like that. So you go, yeah. It's like she gargles with oil of Olay. Her entire mouth is just a big ball of silk. And one of the other guys will go, what about the pink outfit? The latex one with the edible crotch? And you're going, yeah, I haven't seen that one. I have seen the uh, nun outfit, though, with the impenetrable chastity belt. You know how guys are. Guys are going, well, I haven't seen that one. Have you seen that one, Dave? I haven't seen that one. Oh, wow, that's hot. And you're going, yeah, you have no idea. i tell you what, I am this close. I am this close to slipping her a roofie and calling a locksmith. Yeah, a roofie and a locksmith. And instead of a stand-up routine, I'd have a hot letter to penthouse.